Hey guys, uh, this, sorry, I, I just filmed this, but YouTube, re YouTube's retarded, uh, like, ugh, I just, YouTube's, their webcam thing really sucks right now. But anyway, um, this is the tutorial, this is the, tu part five of the tutorial on how to solve the corners. So, yeah, this is my second time trying to upload this, but, I'm trying to directly upload this for my webcam, but ugh, YouTube's like their webcam service is really bad. But anyway, I digress a lot. Um, what we're gonna do now is just basically position the corners correctly and flip them. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, right now, I've got this fish-looking thing on there. Uh, you guys won't always have that. You'll sometimes have something like uh, hold on. Yeah, you guys just get across, you know. Sometimes I hold on, I'll see if I can do something. Yeah, sometimes you get this. There's not really anything different you guys do for the, any of these cases. Um, all you want to do is find corners that are correctly positioned. Like there will be one, or there will be four. Uh, that's all you can get. You can't get just two or three that are positioned correctly. You have to get one or four. So. Uh, I have one in this case. As you can see, these aren't in the right place. Uh, how you can determine which corners are in the correct place uh, is if it's not flipped like this. Uh, say you've got this right here. Um, you can tell that the blue, it needs to go here. I mean, look at it. It just matches up like that. You can tell from the centers and the colors on the corner that this piece needs to go here. So, yeah. Um... You just have to put those pieces in the right place with that algorithm. Um, so you put the correct piece, which you won't always get a correct piece. You'll either get one, four, or I think zero. Yeah, you can get no correct corners. But in any case, just use this algorithm. Well, in in the one single case, like in the... Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm at a huge loss of words here. If you're in the case where you have one solved corner or not even one soft corner, just one corner in the correct place, you put it in the top right-hand corner, and you do this algorithm. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And that will, hopefully, well, if you get lucky, um, it'll flip all the, it'll, it won't flip them, but it'll put all the edges in the right place, but mine has to be done, it has to be done one more time for me, since it didn't match them up. Um, so you do the same thing. Uh, uh, you, or er, left. Sorry. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And now that's it. You either do it once or twice, and it'll always do it. Um, see now you have all your corners in the right place. Now you just have to flip them correctly. Um, in my case, uh, I already have two flipped correctly, but you can have um, one or two or even three or even four if you get really lucky, which that probably won't happen a lot, but it could happen. Um, you probably um, will end up with one or two corners flipped correctly. So now all you have to do is one algorithm. I've already, I think I've already taught you guys this algorithm. It's R inverted, D inverted, R, D. Um, you just do that with the, uh, the piece that's not flipped correctly. You put it in the top right hand corner. It doesn't matter which edge you start with. Just keep. You just have to go uh, clockwise or counterclockwise consistently. Um, just do R inverted, down inverted, R, down. R inverted, down inverted, R, down. R inverted, down inverted, R down. Now this will mess up your cube, but this will be solved up here. Well, except for this piece that you haven't flipped yet. So you just rotate it to where you get this piece in the right place. It probably would have been shorter just to do it like that, but anyway, uh, I digress. You just do the same algorithm. R inverted, down inverted, R down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down and now pretty much usually you'll just have one at one layer that you have to flip or you have to rotate so that's pretty much all there is to it and uh, that concludes part five of the tutorial do you guys have any recommendations um, if you guys have any requests 
uh, comments, if you want to rate it, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, I, I really appreciate feedback. Um, so yeah, that was that pretty much ends my tutorial on how to solve a 3x3. If you guys want more of this, um, definitely recommend it. I, I'll try my best to like fulfill you guys' needs. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this, look at my other videos. I don't really have too many other videos related to this, but I'm working on it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Well, I gotta try my camera up there. Alright, well thanks guys. Uh, that was that concludes my tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just message me or comment. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys.